Dreamweaver CS6 incorporates the stable 1.0 version of jQuery Mobile, an HTML5, CSS and JavaScript framework designed to create websites optimized for mobile devices. As this website at jQueryMobile.com explains, it's touch optimized for smartphones and tablets. What's particularly impressive about jQuery Mobile is the broad level of support for different mobile operating systems. It doesn't focus exclusively on iOS or Android. It's also designed to work on BlackBerry, Windows Phone and Symbian, which is used on a lot of Nokia phones. It also supports some operating systems you might never have heard of. Let's take a closer look at the device support. Not all mobile devices are treated equally. They're divided into A-grade devices that get the full experience with animated page transitions. These include the most widely used smartphones and tablets, the latest versions of the Kindle and Nook Color, as well as recent versions of all desktop browsers. B-grade devices get a slightly less sophisticated experience, and C-grade devices get a basic experience. When choosing a framework, there's always a danger that it might not be around for long if the project runs out of steam. So let's scroll down to the bottom of this page to see the project sponsors. jQuery Mobile has got serious backing. The sponsors include not only mobile device manufacturers, but also Adobe. Adobe's involvement isn't limited to cash. It's provided several Dreamweaver engineers to work full-time on developing the code. In this workshop, I'll show you how to get started with jQuery Mobile in Dreamweaver CS6. But I can't cover everything, so I suggest you take a look at the documentation, which you can access by clicking Docs in this toolbar. The documentation is built using the jQuery Mobile framework, so it gives you a flavour of how it looks and works. Take a look at the Overview section for a high-level view. The Components section describes the different widgets that make up a typical jQuery mobile page or site. Dreamweaver helps you a lot with these, generating the HTML automatically when you insert a component from the Insert bar or panel. In the API section, you'll find the Data Attribute Reference and Theme Framework sections the most helpful. Let's take a look at the Data Attribute Reference jQuery Mobile makes extensive use of HTML5 data attributes to control the look and action of different parts of the page. Dreamweaver has code hints for all these data attributes, but you need this section of the documentation to understand how to use them. For example, a widget that toggles open and closed uses the data role attribute set to collapsible. By default, the widget is displayed closed when the page first loads, but you can display it open by setting data collapsed to false. The documentation shows default values in bold. You'll find this page indispensable to get the most out of working with jQuery Mobile. So that's a quick introduction to jQuery Mobile, a touch-optimized web framework for smartphones and tablets, which also works on desktops. The stable 1.0 version is integrated into Dreamweaver CS6, together with a dedicated panel to help style page components.